the experience of living with a life-threatening disease like cancer is a new experience for our generation of people. We keep having you come in every month. We'll do a CAT scan every three months or so for the first, you know, for the next year and keep a really close eye on things. What are we dealing with? What are the outcomes? What are the treatment options? You just have to come and visit us every third week and we'll be checking your whole body. What are your goals? Where's your life now? What was it before you got sick? How can we get you back there? That's important. It's the idea of three world-class institutions coming together that's so powerful. They get the expertise of the individuals at the university, at Children's, and at the Hutch, all under one roof. Most, if not all, of our physicians deal with one disease and one disease only. It's all they do, it's what they focus on, it's what they're truly expert at. The medical oncologists are leading national clinical trials, our surgeons are really thought leaders in their group. All of these different people come together as a team to say, how can we develop the best plan for this individual patient? The first therapy you receive is the most important. At that time, the overall outcomes are largely determined. It's exciting and humbling. I think what's so important here is that we have a whole team of people who are dedicated to taking care of children. You know, we're really to a nice point in his treatment where we're obviously unbiased, but I cannot imagine why anyone would bring their child anywhere else. Every improvement in cancer treatment has been the result of rigorous clinical trials. It makes it exciting for me as a clinician because I know I have a lot more opportunities for patients. I can enroll them in clinical trials. Or even if I don't have a clinical trial, I know that we're working hard on finding the answer and it's going to benefit this patient and the women that follow her. If we listen to our patients carefully enough, they tell us what they need. And, and this is a place where they can do that. But I hear you that you're really concerned about, you know, we want to get rid of any last little microscopic guys that are there. These are big moments. These are defining moments in people's lives, and you get to have those conversations on a regular basis. That's a privilege. You always want to be able to look yourself in the mirror, and you always want your patients and their families to be able to look themselves in the mirror and know that they receive the best care at every step along the way.